the countries of the world have decided that we are going to eradicate poverty, extreme poverty, by 2030. And every country in the world has signed up to agree that we are going to halve poverty in all its forms by 2030. But none of us really know what poverty in all its forms means. And our research is going to help come up with an answer to that. Very rarely do governments ask people in poverty what it's like, what their lives are like. This research does that. It starts with the direct experience of living a life in poverty and builds on that, bringing different forms of knowledge together. One of the great strengths of this work is that we bring people with different experiences together. That has never been done on the scale that we're attempting to do. We're working in rich countries and less rich countries. When governments talk about poverty at the moment, they emphasise a lack of income, a lack of material resources. They don't often ask about the consequences of that lack of resources. And in many ways, it's the consequences that people feel and live with on a day-to-day -day basis. So it may be that being in poverty causes you to feel that you are, in some sense, inadequate, that you can't be a good parent and can't be a good mother because you haven't got the resources that children need. You can't respond to a demand with a yes. You have to repeatedly say no. Maybe we need to capture that when we think about poverty. Maybe we need to capture the violence that is done. Violence in the words other people use. Violence in that true hard sense of physical violence, the abuse that people experience. But also more subtly, when those of us who are affluent find it difficult to look eye to eye with people who are in poverty, and the person in poverty becomes invisible and we forget. Research is about better understanding the world in which we live, the experiences of people who make up our friends and our neighbours. It's not always clear what truth is. It's often the case that we all have parts of the truth. This research is seeking to put those different parts together to get an enriched understanding. The work that we engage with is perhaps attempting to take merging of knowledge. A, a procedure at ATD Fourth World has developed over many years to take it from small scale to large scale, to work and to listen to many more people than in the past we have been able to. It's taking a, a device, a technique, an approach and trying to make it scientific. It's a journey which will involve us all learning, asking, is this valid? Is this true? Is it distorted? Is it biased? We do that by listening hard and by sharing experience and asking the question of those who read our work, is it true for you? Does it have that sound of truth? Can you believe it? If you can, use it.